Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, story time with Dudski. Dudski's adventures. <laughs> uh, well, I made it to uh, Washington, to the place where I'm supposed to meet at uh, with my crew and everything. Um, some complications have arised, arisen. Things happen. That's okay, it's not changing any plans. Either way, I'm uh, in a little small town called Cathlamet, Washington. Um, I actually grew up here in this town, believe it or not. Um, <coughs> it's a small, small little fishing town, kind of, uh, at the side of the road. Uh, when you pass a highway, well, when you drive down the highway, you if you blink, you'll pass it, type of thing. Um... One of these days I'll go down there and I'll, I'll, I'll take a little adventure and I'll walk around town, maybe tomorrow or something, we'll see. Um, so I can take videos of it to those of you that watch my videos can watch, either way. Um, <coughs> so for all you know, a uh, little back history, I guess since I'm here in this town, I'll you know give you guys a little back history of me and why I'm up here. Um, well. For you guys that do know me, you know you know where I was born. For those of you that don't know that, uh, I was born in, in Nicaragua. It's a co completely different country, Central America. Google it. Uh, Nicaragua. Moved up to Washington State. Um, I don't remember the actual move or anything like that. I was only like a year old or something. Year and a half. I do remember bits and pieces of my infancy, like small things here and there. I do remember meeting Alan for the first time. Um, well, my first memory of him. Uh, we lived in a small little island called Puget Island. Puget, P-U-G-E-T. Uh, across from a little dairy farm where my dad worked as a handyman, um, I guess, type thing. Farm hand, ranch hand, however you want to call it. Um, and I remember that my parents spoke broken English and I was learning to speak English so I could translate for my parents a lot better than they can translate for themselves and I remember Alan telling me to translate certain things to them I guess uh, the full conversation is who they are or who he was and what he was there to do to help out and anything like that I remember pieces of that uh, since then I mean obviously like he's been a family friend dear friend to ours he's a, pretty much my uncle I call him Uncle Alan my whole life I'm 33 years old and I still find myself saying Uncle Alan. <laughs> um, uh, from there I moved up the road on into a road called the uh, Lokomen Valley Road. Right in the middle. Uh, I'll take pictures of that or I'll try to you know, drive by it. Uh, it's my parents old house. Um, obviously it's, we're not occupied in it. There's someone there but it's pretty much the same house that was there <laughs> when, when we got it. When we moved in a mobile home um, the land looks obviously completely different because wilderness kind of took over it again the back half of the house uh, the back half of the yard but they got it fenced in so it looks pretty neat you know it looks pretty stable it looks good um, a lot of memories down here or up here in the state all the woods around me like I, I would go walking around these woods here and there get lost find creeks throw rocks Throw rocks at squirrels, at birds, things like that. Um, a lot of fun little festivals. I remember water balloon fights at the little town festival. It's a little, very small part of the town called Skamakaway. Fun fact, um, Skamakaway, or spelled out Skamakawa. <laughs> uh, you'll, it, when you read it, you'll, you'll hear it as Skamakawa. Either way, uh, that translate into a native language. I don't remember which natives. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to be wrong. Uh, I'll look it up. Uh, a lot of a lot of things around here are actually named after native names or things. Like the co the county we're in, we're in. It's called the Wakayakum County. Okay. Um, oh, but the place Skamakawe is called Skamakawe. It's translate to smoke on the water. Uh, so like fog pretty much <laughs> that place gets foggy, you know translates to that um, 
so yeah I mean places things like that I went to I did pre-k here kinder all the way through I want to say sixth grade or half six half of sixth grade here in Kath Lamont. Uh, from there I went moved to Vancouver Washington for two years yeah yeah uh, my eighth grade year was my last year here moved to Abilene Texas for my freshman year and I finished my freshman year in the Valley in the Rio Grande Valley Edinburgh Texas graduated 2005 so enough of my resume <laughs> um, I mean this little town is really small there's not a lot to do but it's quiet it's peaceful I mean especially up here on the hill where he's at he's pretty much at the top of the hill like it's there's nothing out here <laughs> but like regular houses he's got a huge piece of land he's been up here since before me he built this house on his own well not on, by himself right but like he didn't hire contractors or things like that he did it all himself all the barn like he's that type of person right he works in the lumber yard Alan does he still does um, a lot of good memories here. I played baseball down uh, up here in Kathlamet. Started as a pitcher one year. I'm just going down memory lane, you know. Uh, this wasn't, you know, this isn't a, necessarily an Alaska episode. <laughs> but, you know, just to share a little bit more with you why I'm up here, or who I know up here, or how it is it came to be that I'm up here. Because it's all random. For a lot of y'all if you don't know my story my backstory so that's why i'm you know trying to catch you up i guess a little bit um yeah so i was up here for a good 10 12 years that's how i know alan i know his whole family they all they know my whole family um so i mean even right now his daughter angela we're just here having a conversation having some good time you know catching up just telling you know just talking about current events whatever <coughs> she used to babysit me too when I was a kid she has all her kids of her own and everything like that too so of course they're all grown up I want to say she's a grandma already too interesting yeah I want to say she's a grandma already too I'm not so sure um yeah I mean and down the road actually uh, about another hour west is the Pacific Ocean maybe two hours maybe the Pacific Ocean there's a couple places around there one is called Astoria that's in Oregon so I crossed the river again uh, the Columbia River um, and then there's also Long Beach Washington so that's where I really want to go the beach I always would go there as a kid uh, even also another fun fact we would go clam digging yeah uh, clam digging is a thing we take these PVC pipes that are kind of like shaped in a T like it's a big pipe going down but like it has like a handle so they top it off but they have a handle with it that's uh, literally a next another pipe as a handle and then you dig that into the sand around it so you, all you do is pull up a big tube of sand and then you shake it out you sift through it sift through it and you find your clams and you get your clams you put them in the bucket and you keep on going you do that repetitively until you get until you catch your limit or you get tired <laughs> whatever I remember doing that as a kid a few times <clears throat> Alan took myself my, my I don't remember if my little sister went and if she did I don't think she liked it I did I loved it it was awesome the only thing of course I didn't like was waking up early for it but once I was up and ready for it I was up I was ready for it of course it's an hour and a half drive or so to the beach so I mean I would sleep on the way there <coughs> but it, it was fun and that's honestly something else that's still on my bucket list that I want to do again as an adult uh, I need to find out when that season is and if I'm up here for it I'm staying up here for it for a little while you know that way I can test it out play it out um, yeah, there's a lot of fun memories here. You know, as I go along, I remember more things um, that I've done, that I've been through, that I'll go through. Um, of course, you know, I haven't been posting as much lately. One, I've been hiking a lot with uh, my friend Chelsea. She's been taking me everywhere getting lost. Uh, I'll sh those videos will 
probably be up by the time this uh, video is up too or if it's not either way it'll be up <laughs> so just look out for those hikes I'll you know what have you um, I, I just want to take a quick second to thank you guys for listening and watching all this uh, it's uh, it's cool to share my story you know even if you barely get to this point and stop it from here thanks um, you keep going keep going you know like it's I've, I've gone through a lot of cool adventures and I want to share them with people and I'm going on another one you know it's crazy I, I was telling my friends because they're going with me again uh, the same ones I went last time with Sean um, it's I told him I was like hey man like this isn't stopping me it's like it's something that'd be cool if I if I could inherit a permit or buy something up there to do because it be, it's it's something that I enjoy doing. It's an adventure every single time. Every time is going to be different. This time is completely different because of the whole Rona thing. But it's not stopping me at all. Not to say that much. <coughs> Either way, um, I think this is something that I'll just keep on doing um, for the hell of it. I don't expect to be like all movie star status or like those everybody on everyone else that's all YouTube popular, right? But I mean, it'd be cool, don't get me wrong. Some people would be like, hey, you're the dude from the Alaska videos, right? Like, oh shit, you watch them? Yeah, cool, thanks. You listen to the podcast? Freaking awesome, thanks, you know? Random ass things like that. And uh, I get them here and there on my Snapchats. Like, they tell me like, hey, dude, keep up your adventures. I'm like, oh yeah, you like them? They're like, dude, hell yeah. I'm like, oh shit, thanks. I didn't know you, <laughs> you enjoyed them that much, but uh, hell, you know? And they express it through the text. Like, hell yeah, bro, like, keep it up. I want to see what's next. And that's why I keep saying stay tuned, you know, because I have, I mean, I do have an idea of what I'm going to do next, but sometimes I don't know what's going to happen next. And I'm glad I got this GoPro for that. I'm glad you guys are listening and I'm glad I get to share. Uh, and, you know, coming back here to my hometown is really taking me back a lot and a lot of things I used to do. There's a, a river here, the Ilocomen River. I went crawdad fishing there a couple of times. <laughs> And I remember one one of the times there, and I was flipping over a rock underwater to get the crawdads. And when I flipped it over, I see him there just, you know, poised and ready to defend himself. So I went for it. And of course, underwater, you're not as fast. And these guys are a little faster. <laughs> uh, so when I went up to reach for him with one hand, I distracted him with one hand, and the other one went to reach, but the distraction didn't work. So he got me, like, right in between the thumb and forefinger, right in that extra like extra you know stretchy skin right there yeah right there i jumped up out of the water immediately started screaming <laughs> like it hurts they're like what's going on they see the crawdad just hanging there off of my hand uh and i told them i remember specifically telling them to save that one and cook it for me because i'm gonna eat that one first and to cook it right now and they're like oh, okay somebody has you know revenge issues i'm like hell yeah this guy caused me pain i'm gonna eat it I did the same thing to a couple of fish and like every time I've gone, I've gone nut checked by a fish by their tail. Yeah, I said that. So I'm picking it up out of the water, I could be just picking it up to throw it in the raft or something and they'll be flopping around and on one of those they'll flop around the right angle and just ah, hit you right in the nuts. And so on one of those, I'm like, oh, nope, I'm taking you to dinner tonight. You, This is the one we're killing, we're eating, why? Because it caused me pain. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I know. It, it's just like, trust me, like, you would have done the same thing. Believe me. I know that because Sean did the same thing. He got nut checked. He's like, no, mm -mm, we're taking you to dinner. This is the one we're fucking eating. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it's going to be more delicious that way. Revenge. Um, oh, so, yeah, back to the Ilocomen thing. I mean, that's, that's a fun river to, to we always uh, would swim in in the summer when it got hot. So it was always good. Good, good times. Um, of course, it was a lot when I was younger. You know, a lot of my memories are shady or not shady, but like fading. They're all the way in the back because it was when I was a kid. So if, uh, if anything else interesting comes up, you know, of course, I'll put it on here or anything. And uh, other way, just keep on listening, guys. Again, one more time. Like, thanks a lot. Appreciate y'all. Stay tuned. I don't know what's going to happen next. But actually, yeah, next week, today is the uh, 23rd of May, a Saturday of 2020. Next week, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm planning to go hike around the Mount St. Helens area, if, if I'm right, with Chelsea. We're having a guide, we're going up there, 
if it's if it's not next week, when I, when we get back, we're gonna go hike the Mount St. Helens area. And for all for you guys who don't know what the Mount St. Helens area is, like this Mount St. Helens, uh, quick quick uh, history thing. Mount St. Helens was a volcano that blew literally half its top towards one direction. It was in 1983, I want to say. Google it. Mount St. Helens. H-E-L-E-N-S. <clears throat> There's a whole bunch of hiking stuff out there, so we're going to be able to go out there and check it out. That for sure. For freaking sure. I want to make sure I have an extra battery pack for that. Stay tuned for that one. You guys really want to go watch that one, okay? Because that's a historical place there. Like it's, 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 I've been there once when I was a kid. I barely remember it, but now as an adult, I'm gonna go hike the actual land of it. Who, you? It's gonna be great. All right. So stay tuned, guys. Um, keep a watch. Add me on all social medias. You'll see every link on everything there. Uh, my Snapchat is Dudeski. D U D Z. Uh, I'm sorry, D-U-D-E-Z-K-Y. The Instagram is Zedudski. So that's Z-E-D-U-D-E-Z-K-Y 87. And Facebook, René Tercero. You'll see me. You'll know who I am. YouTube, you already know. You'll see the links. All right, guys. Take care. Till the next time.